Hey guys, uh, Fish in the Bill here today, and I haven't done really a real video in quite a while, um, and I know, well, besides the one post, the one video of me and my 25 pound flathead, but I haven't really made any tip videos in a while, so, um, I just wanted to show you all what I like to use mainly when I'm fishing for catfish, um, I'm gonna run through what I use for ponds and lakes, and then also what I use in um, rivers and the main thing you're gonna want to remember when you're catfishing is usually if you're fishing on the bottom for catfish which you should be anyways if you're not then you're you must be fishing in a shallow lake or something but um you're gonna want to use some of these if I can get them open because a lot of times when you're fishing on the bottom there's a lot of snags around and stuff and so I like to use uh, wire leaders and these are uh, 30 pound 18 inch wire leaders They're made by Eagle Claw these are the only ones I use because I trust Eagle Claw and yeah I like to use those and then if I know that there's no snags around and it's like a mud bottom lake or mud bottom pond or gravel or something I'll use um, instead of that I'll use a monofilament leader uh, I use 30 pound Shakespeare Cajun line. I have a big spool of that. Um, I usually run braid on my poles for catfish just because I, because if you break them off where I fish at, then they're, the fish end up dying because there's a, there's tons of fountains in the waters and um, they get wrapped around it and then they suffocate. So I don't want to break a fish off. So we use braid. And then if I'm fishing in the pond, I'll use monofilament, but the lake, you'll break a lot of fish off because there's a lot of snags. And um, I, and then what I like to, the weights that I use, uh, let's see, I usually use either, if I can get it up, just a fairly, fairly small egg sinker, not very big at all, I think it's like a quarter of an ounce. But then if the fish are biting very well and I want to get the bait out farther, I'll put on a half ounce um, egg sinker. And uh, I usually catch a lot more fish with the big ones, but if the fish are being finicky, I'll use these. And I I custom made these. Like I bought them and I made the holes a lot bigger. So they're almost like no rolls. Like they sit on the bottom and I flattened out one side. It's like a no roll. And... Um, I also like to use bell weights every now and then if I'm out of egg sinkers, but I don't really like these because they're you have to use a swivel to put them on, and then you have to tie a leader onto the swivel and everything. It's just it's just too complicated. And um, here's an example of the leader I was talking about, the monofilament one. I pre-tied this one, my circle hook, and then my line, and it comes down to a barrel swivel. And I think that this one's like 18 inches. And um, the hooks that I use, I use, uh, I don't use very big hooks just because I don't need to, but uh, I use either a 3 uh octopus circle hook, um, and if I'm fishing for turtles, I'll use a 6 aught straight, cir or a regular circle hook. Um, and then for the barrel swivel, I usually use the 120 pound test ones because there's a lot of big fish and then the turtle the turtles will tear them up so I use the big ones and there's a lot of turtles in there so you gotta kinda keep your tackle heavy um and I usually put my rod in a rod holder that my dad made he makes a lot of different rod holders um and I put a bell on it and I usually I'll usually lay there and sleep or something and if the bell starts going off I'll run over and grab the pole usually don't have to wait that long the, um, the reel that I use uh, for most of my catfishing is a it's a Bass Pro Shops gold edition um, mega cast I've made several videos on this before and I got a new rod when I went to Lake Cumberland um, this is the trophy series power plus trophy class rod it's I think it's seven foot heavy action um, it's almost like you're fishing with a broomstick and there's not a lot of bend in it unless it's a big fish and um, usually I just hook up this with that little egg weight 
and then my circle hook down here on the end of my uh, on the end of my wire leader and then if the catfish are getting to be kind of finicky like they normally do you catch one or two of them you catch maybe one or two of them and they start to get real finicky because they know you're there but um, I'll switch over to my smaller rod this is my bass rod but if the catfish are biting I'll use it it's just a I made a video on this it's just a another uh, mega tournament rod I modified the line capacity on it and everything uh, it's got 10 pound monofilament on there so if you hook a big fish it's really fun fighting it and um, I'll put the circle hook rig on that too and uh, I know there's something else I wanted to show you oh I had if I'm using chicken livers which I normally don't I use a big old treble hook but uh and I usually use chicken livers for turtles just because the catfish don't seem to like them at the pond so uh, I'll throw one of those on every now and then I usually use a really big travel hook normally about this big and um I just throw it out there and let it sit on the bottom and then the turtles they bite real weird so I don't put a bell on I just watch the line and put the bait clicker on um trying to think Oh, when you're catfishing, you're going to want to keep a pair of pliers in your tackle box. That is a must. The hooks do not come out very easily. So, invest in a good pair of pliers. It's about time for me to get some new ones. And, yeah. So, get some pliers. Get some bait. Uh, some decently heavy line. The line that I use to braid, I use 50-pound braid. And a 10-pound monofilament. And then 30-pound for the leaders. And yeah, this has been Fish in the Bill. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and um, do me a favor and go to this one kid's channel. I don't know. I can't remember his name. It's like CMRFX Racer or whatever. Leave him a nasty comment. Um, he's not really worth my time, and I don't want to sit here and just blab about him. So go leave him a nasty comment. I, if I could show you all the personal messages, messages he sent me, I would, but... You just do me a favor and do that for me. Alright, well, I'll see you all later. And, um, catch a big one.